was the most dickish way in which a friend showed you that you're not as close as you thought. Part 7. Kick back and enjoy the ride. If you dig what you see, hit that subscribe button and share the love for Thread Tonic. Account 1. This happens to me all the time. I certainly accept the fact that I may play a major part in this, because it couldn't be a coincidence that this exact situation has happened to me at least five times in my 24 years. I was hanging out a lot with a group of older guys, all in their late 30s, early 40s, who I met through my girlfriend's sister. I love sports, so I would often go over to their houses to watch the games with them and their girlfriend's wives. There were two I was particularly close with, and we would go play pool, see movies, drink beer at least a couple of times a week. I helped one of them move when his wife divorced him. I drove the other to the airport more times than I can count. They were great to me and helped me out many times as well. Flash forward to a recent holiday when we were all out drinking. My girlfriend is suddenly acting aloof and angry with me. Turns out another guy in the group had told her that I had had sex with her brother and the other guy. I've never so much as kissed them. This happens so often to me. It sucks. I thought I had a really great friendship with these guys, and here they are, telling everyone in the group they've slept with me. Account 2. I thought I was close friends with a guy from high school and college. I talked him out of going after Tail while he was in a committed relationship. I got him to date said girl. We were friends for five plus years. They're married now, and I didn't even get invited to the wedding. If I was any more bitter, I'd wish them divorce. Account 3. The group of friends I had in high school were really tight and we all hung out together. I was sort of part of two groups of friends, but I considered these people my really close friends. They came up with this stupid name for themselves. They called themselves the Sexy Six. I wasn't included as part of this. About a year and a half later, my best friend, who was considered a part of the Sexy Six, was upset about something that had happened in the group. I think they had a get-together and didn't invite her. I said, yeah, that's got to be hard. I'm a little upset about it, too. I remember her saying, well, it's not like you're actually a part of the group. I was so upset after that, I stopped hanging out with them. Account 4. I was invited to go backpacking for two months with my one friend. I thought it would be a jolly good time, us traveling everywhere together. I get there, and she tells me I need to find my own hostel because I can't stay with her family. This was for my initial four days in Paris. After that, I thought surely we will travel together and be inseparable. Nope. She just wanted to stay in countries where she could stay for free with her acquaintances, and she wanted to stay at these places for weeks at a time. I ended up traveling all by myself for 90% of the trip, meeting her every once in a while. Mind you, I had never been anywhere alone before. She ditched me numerous times on that same trip. And when we went to where my family is from, Italy, I let her stay with both sides of my family. The weird thing is, she considers me one of her closest, bestest friends. Like for real, this is what she tells others in her life. It confuses the shit out of me. Account 5. My best friend of 14 years fucked the guy I was dating the day before my dad's wedding in my bathroom, while I had extended family and friends staying over. He kissed me in front of everyone and said he'd be right up to bed, but I woke up the morning of the wedding and they were both gone, so I drove to his place and proceeded to bust in on them getting dressed. She then said I run through guys all the time and I can't be mad because me and him weren't serious, which is not true. We fucked four times that day because we took the weekend off together for the wedding and he didn't even shower before he fucked her. Her two daughters are my goddaughters, and our families have been friends for years, and I have no idea what the fuck they were thinking. I had to come home to my out-of-town cousins, brother, and two close friends and tell them what happened. It was the second time they met. They are both off the list. This was yesterday. I had a great day with my friends and family, though, and the wedding was a blast. Account 6. At that time, my friend had a lot of problems with her family. She was often sleeping at my apartment, using my things, eating my food. I even bought her a mattress so she can have a good night's sleep. I never even thought to ask her any money for that. I was just glad I could help. One day at college, I forgot my purse at home and had nothing to eat for breakfast. I borrowed from that friend and only bought a $1 muffin. The next day, first thing she says to me in class, Hey, can I have my money back? Account 7. 
my maid of honor, best friend since middle school, and a number of our mutual friends left our wedding reception with her after an hour to go see a local high school youth group band play. She had also not opened her invitation or been responsive to calls or emails regarding planning for the wedding, so maybe I should be shocked she even showed up. Moving out of state for college a few months before moved me out of her priorities list, I suppose. Account 8. Friend of mine talked my ear off all the time about how my new girlfriend was doing me bogus behind my back or hanging on other guys, etc. I let this get to me because I trusted this friend and me, and the girl broke up a month or so into it. One week later, guess who goes for this girl? He even had the nerve to ask my permission, but he was really just flaunting it in my face. Not gonna lie about some outrageous revenge story now so common on here, but I completely cut ties and warned him we would have serious trouble if he intentionally crossed my path again. Count nine. Girl I had a vague crush on in HS met me at the 10th year reunion. We hit it off and start dating. She introduces me to her friend on the other side of the country one day and we become pen pals. Over three months, she got more and more jealous of the pen pal thing to the point where she gave me an ultimatum, her or the friend. I chose neither and walked away. Of course, a few months later, the friend contacted me again. We hit it off and the next thing you know, we were dating, ah, youth. I moved across the country to have a stab at it, got married, had a son, got divorced, and moved back. All told, I'm gone half a decade. When I get back, I find out that first girl told everyone in our grad class I was cheating on her with the friend, that I got her pregnant. When I found out she was pregnant, I left her hanging, and she was forced to go get an abortion on her own dime. Of course, this traumatized her because a year prior, she had lost a baby to SIDS with her last boyfriend. All of it was a total lie because we never once had sex. For that lie, I was physically assaulted twice by male friends of hers and lost every last friend I had in my grad class. Account 10. This may be too far down in the comments for anyone to notice, but this happened recently and I'm still in shock. I was playing some beer pong against my roommate and another one of my good friends. We were what I would consider pretty close. Close enough for my family to include him on a trip to New Orleans free of charge. Well, they were pretty drunk and were doing our normal shit talking during beer pong, to which I was responding with my own shit talking. Well, I eventually won the game and left the room to go smoke. I was then being called back into the pong room to play again. As soon as I walked in, my friend that I had beaten in pong completely blindsided me with a cheap shot punch right to the left side of my jaw was at the ER till five in the morning getting stitches. Haven't talked to him since. TLDR. Good friend whom I took to New Orleans punched me in the face over a game of beer pong. Account 11. I was defending my one white friend, relevant in middle school because all the kids made jokes about him and called him names behind his back. Then one day he makes a racial slur against my culture and someone asks, wow, isn't my name the same race? How can you talk about your best friend like that? friend. What? He's not my best friend. We're not even that close. All while I was walking right next to him. Account 12. I knew I had been growing apart from my group of friends for a while. We were in eighth grade and I guess I was only still friends with them because I didn't really have any other options, small school. Anyways, the birthday of the girl I considered to be my best friend, I knew she was closer to some of the other girls, but I was closest to her, was coming up. We were all eating lunch together and they were talking about planning her party. One of the girls read off a list she described as the perfect invite list. Lo and behold, my name wasn't said. One of them awkwardly said, what about my name? And I was invited. The party was nearing and I was excited that I had actually been included to do something with my group of friends. I had heard some people talking about how they didn't know if it was going to happen that day anymore, but I figured they would have told me a new day not to go there. I was mistaken. I never heard anything about any other party. After that incident, I decided I would rather walk around by myself and chill with the math teacher instead of putting up with those fake girls for the rest of middle school. Bitch missed out on these tight-ass candles. 13. One of my closest friends I've known since middle school, going on almost 20 years, didn't invite me to his wedding. I had to find out about it from friend B, who asked me one day if I was going to so-and-so's wedding. 
I've known so and so far longer than friend B, so even he was completely dumbfounded when I said so and so never invited me. I think so and so intends to keep this a secret from me, which is really dumb BTW, but I just haven't had the heart to confront him about it. I just don't have the words to say or ask him WTF is up with him. Even telling me why I wasn't invited would have been enough. I feel let down and depressed about the whole thing. The wedding was in March, and it's having a bigger effect on me than I had expected. Account 14. A friend from high school who I kept in touch with via letters said he'd be coming down and would visit me. He was in Vermont, me and Pensy. So I sat out on the porch of the house I was sharing with others, looking forward to seeing someone I knew. I sat there for four hours. Nothing. I was poor but had bought a six-pack of beer to share. When I wrote him to ask him why he didn't show, he said that he had stopped by to visit someone else he knew and was having fun there. That was the last time we ever spoke or wrote. Account 15. My 18th birthday party. All my life I had wanted a surprise party and my parents finally paired up with my best friend to host one for me. It was awesome. They invited everyone in my group of friends to show up. Unfortunately, no one did. They all canceled the day of. So I showed up to a house decorated for a party with lots of food and only about four people out of 15. I still get misty-eyed and sad thinking about it because I considered those people to be really good friends. Found out I was wrong. 